didn't expect him to break that. Oh, you might be wondering, why is the start of the episode in the nether, right? Well, simply because we are in nether, finally. And I forgot to, you know, record the welcome before the episode because I was caught off guard with a lot of events that started happening. So yeah, I guess let's begin. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host, BerryBite. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. Oh my god, so I've been doing in between episode stuff and I found Lush Cave searching for the Flutter guy. But look what down there, is that a deep dark biome? Oh, uh, uh, uh. interesting. And hello creeper. How are you today? No way. Is that the mob? Oh my god, that's the mob we're looking for. No way, don't die lava please. Oh god, I need to get flowers fast. Well, it turns out that's not the mob we need. Just a false hype. And yeah, that's a glare. We need flutter. Which I don't know how he looks like. No way, I found him. That's Flutter. That's the small guy we need. Come here. Come here. I want to take you. No, no, no. Don't. Don't run away. Why am I having troubles climbing this? Really? I can't pick you up? Come on. I've been doing my stuff around, but who the hell is that guy? And how did you get on the roof? What? You are a new guy, come on. Wandering Baker, Wandering Baker? Oh, that's new. Mm -hmm. Brick oven, small cooking pot. Yeah, let me get the emeralds and we'll trade. Actually, can I move you? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, that looks so funny when I'm holding him like that. Wee! And the best part is I was about to cook... Um, uh this thing glowberry custard because that's what we need for the egg uh, uh, eye and yeah i've been working on the eyes as you can see collecting a lot of materials and things are slowly starting to make sense i guess oh no you idiot you idiot you idiot i don't want to trade with you i need your goods you dumbass Okay, now that I used you, you can go and die. And in all of those things, I just realized I don't have eggs. I need to find eggs. The most basic Minecraft resource. And here we go, the egg is here. So all we need to do is probably a bowl to scoop up the soup or... I don't know, I never used this mod, so hopefully all goes well. Oh! Served on a glass bottle, so we need a glass bottle, and my chests are here, okay? I think I seen... Oh, a crocodile egg, I don't know if that counts to toward the cooking, it does. <sighs> okay. Alright, and the glass bottle is in front of my eyes. And voila! We got the glowberry custard, which is needed for, I think, this one. Right, and all we need to do for our first eye is Creeper Shard. A.K.A. find the mutant creeper. And kill it. Oh, and guess what guys, I found a blobfish in this sea biome, so... I'm hunting few more things, like that guy over there. Which this pawn, we need his trident. And yeah. Fun stuff, fun stuff grinding. The only issue with those sea waters is that they are so deep sometimes i run out of breath before i get to the mobs and i hate this mob because it just ruins my armor and i don't know how to hit him it just keeps like thrashing me around and yeah you see it keeps changing my camera around hate it so much come i hate you too don't worry and again see and what am i supposed to do 
sometimes maybe just hitting them kills them. I hate spells. And I need to get down there because I seen blobfishes somewhere. And I need four of them. I don't know why they why do they drop so far from you know where I kill them, but yeah. And what do you say? Of course! Wait, free Willy? Is gonna Willy attack me? Blessing from Wild Orca. I don't know if Orca is hostile to me or not. I'll guess it's not. And voila! Fish oil is done. That means that we actually can craft a hole. And we got blob person on the blob fish. Oh no, my... <laughs> Why did this happen? <sighs> come on, game, come on. How long or how much is the radius to deposit all by accident? That wasn't dumped to me by chest is if I was all the way over there. But yeah, with all of that mess cleared, I think we can craft our first ever eye of the series and let's see so this this and bam we got the black eye to get started open the quest book by clicking uh, or by clicking on the item okay yes i know how to get started and xp lapis and snorkel yeah and that's a head slot but i prefer my night vision so those eyes point us to something, but hopefully they don't break, because if they do break, it would be a real shame, because that was one tough eye to craft. And I think I need to start compressing my ores, because I got a lot of them. And yeah, it's slowly getting a bit crowded in here, hopefully we unlock the system to store items more efficiently soon. Oh, microphone was off, but the creeper is here, and I found our missing link. Okay, you can fight with zombies, I guess. I don't mind that. As long as we can kill this stupid creeper, because we need his loot. And I'm getting hit on 50 sides for some reason. This guy is annoying me. Thank you. And the poison is slowly killing me. Or whatever it is, it's not poison. Woo! Okay, so close, so close to kill him. And we killed him. Will he gonna explode? No, don't push me into explosion. Yes! That's exactly what we need. And what is that? Creeper minion egg. Now only if a mutant zombie could spawn, what are you? Ferret! Oh, ferret! If a mutant zombie could spawn, that would be amazing, but I don't think we have time this night. And let's do this. So... We crafted the second eye. Whoa! We crafted two eyes in one episode. We are going places, and one more eye and we can go to nether. Well, that's not good. The glimmering weld biome, which we need for this mushroom, was not found in 10,000 block radius. Oh no. I think I found the conjurer's, conjurer, conjurer's place. It says in some kind of thingy and I think it's showtime. Locate the theater. Is this it? Because there's there are pillagers here. And... If I remember correctly, there was one crazy pillager around here. Yep, the guy throwing balls. So, let's get the ball guy. He's like some kind of mini boss. But not good at mini bossing, because, you know, I came at him with protection 4 and sharpness 6 sword. Yes, decreased magic damage by 30%. Now you see, but... What is the magic damage in Minecraft? If those are potions, then that's kind of useless. Oh, and let's enter the backstage of this guy. Oh, really? 
we didn't even need to kill him. We could just found a place and get the hat. Because, you know, it's probably nothing special when you're not playing this mod pack. And there seems to be cards and bouncy balls. And yeah, that's about it for his backstage. It's funny how this mini boss was way harder when I didn't have the gear I have right now. And I'm still amazed why my microphone is picking up my voice much clearer than before. Or maybe because I got more comfortable speaking, so you know. It now picks up my sound because it's not scary sound, but it's my real voice. Because, you know, when I started the recording, my, I forgot to speak English. I'm not saying I'm a professional now, but, you know, I know better than before. Oh, and we need to run away. This place is burning because it's made on lava. And hold on. Can I get some nether stuff by growing this mushroom? Maybe. Oh, and I always wanted to see what this uh, that tree hanging guy is, so it always says come back at night and I always forget, so let's do it this time. Maybe we get something good or maybe we get killed. This looks so ominous, a dead tree with a hanging guy and raining and, you know, the night, the moon is getting up. But yeah, time to see what this guy has to say. No, creeper. Oh, he's a trader for corruption. Okay. Can I actually move you? <laughs> I stole the dead guy. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm probably gonna... I can't carry him home because... I can't, right? But he's a trader and he's an NPC. Why didn't I, didn't I think of this sooner? But your trades are... Not good for whatever that corruption is. And I enjoy him better when he's quiet rather than doing his sounds. Oh no, the house is burning down, the house is burning down, that's not good. There was a thunder and the... Yeah, house started burning down. Not good, I don't like that. I need a big zombie to spawn and all I'm getting is big creeper. And I don't need any more big creepers. And again, another big creeper. Like, man, two big creepers. <gasps> big zombie! That's what we need and who we need. Come here. I need your hammer. So drop your hook hammer, please. I remember how you were so strong, but now look at you. You've fallen off. Exactly. Please, hammer. Hammer. Oh, do I need to burn you? Right. Come on, burn. Yes! That's what we need. And now we can create another eye, I think. Oh, I was wrong. We need forgotten hat and glove room. Which... Oh, we can make, actually. Nice. Alright, let's go. And that's another onto the list. And all we need is forgotten hat. But now how do I get forgotten hat? That's a little bit trickier. From Forgotten, which can be found deep underground. Be wary of their powerful equipment and multiple combat styles. But the thing is, I haven't seen one yet. And I totally forgot we can actually craft mending books, so yeah. That's that. So we don't have to repair our, 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 our armor all the time. I'm gonna delete this mob from existence of this game. Look! I just freed from one and another is coming for me. It's just like non-stop onslaught. And I can't hit them. It's like... Come on. What's the doll finally? I hate the treasure. I hate the sea. I hate everything about the sea in Minecraft. It's not cool, it's boring and annoying. A distress call. Increase maximum health by one heart up to five times. Oh, hello there, we crafted the last eye, and you know what that means? That it's a brand new day, and we can ex go and explore the nether, probably, finally, hopefully. It's happening. Uh, 
we are in the nether and hopefully we don't die in the first few seconds and it oh so red holy sh what there is a lot of red stuff and is that nether fortress right from the start okay cool maybe if we take off wait we don't have any buffs what is the nether so red naturally that that is really hurting my eyes and what is that it's a foxhound by the looks of it it wants to attack us okay funny thing is my eyes already got burned from the environment we are in so let's create a small safe area in the nether okay the base of operations is ready so we got a bit of yeah safe space to work on and this pickaxe is too fast with efficiency 5. So I guess let's see what is going on in this red madness. Is that nether quartz or... Okay, it's nether quartz. I mean, what else could it be if not nether quartz? But apart from that, anything more interesting around us? Some burning zombies coming our way. And you are burnt. I mean, what did I expect? A zombie in the nether... Of course it's gonna be called burnt. Well, if this is our reality, then that's a big castle. And who are you? Voline. Or whatever that is pronounced. And did I hear already an arrow shooting at me? Hold on. Is that... That's a wither skeleton with an... Cross, I mean bow. The worst possible outcome. Solar crystal? Solar Crystal. Celestial Nether Ingot. What is that? And looks like we can't create it. Okay. But we're gonna take it anyways. And in we go. Absolute fail. Ow. And in we go. Part 2. Well, whatever. We are here. A terrible fortress. And what are you? You are a, a, a glowing what? I can't really hover over your name. Well, you are whatever. Wait. Was that a moving mushroom? It was. Shroomlin. And are you hostile? Hold on, do you explode? What was that attack? Yeah, I'm gonna kill all of you. I don't know what are you useful for. The soul porch? What? Hold on, did we find a bastion? Ow. Connected with the... Ascus bomb? What? Bastion connected with the nether fortress? This looks like to be it, and that's lava. And what was that sound now? All the crazy sounds. What is that? That's some kind of big mob. Hello? Uh, okay, you are dying, but should I save you or are you hostile? I don't want to get your burn, uh, loot burned in case you are not hostile or you are hostile. Netherite monstrosity. Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. It indeed hits. Okay, okay. And we got a boss music. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, maybe it's good that you are stuck there. That's not good. Maybe if we hit you up from here. Oh, that's doing something, but I don't like there's lava under it. Oh, no skeletons. So I don't like there's lava under the guy, which means the loot might get uh, burned, hopefully not. Come on. Woo! -hoo -hoo! I didn't expect him to break that. That was unexpected move, and what is that? Some new kind of attack. He's dropping lava. 
Hmm, that's, that's not good. Since lava spreads like a wildfire in the nether. Okay, my man, I'm coming to you. Don't, don't need to spread lava everywhere. I want to be able to kill you somehow. Maybe the charm that makes us immune to lava would be good over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just stay there. Just don't do anything, please. Don't do anything. Oh, no, he dropped. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. Woo! And is that his loot? Looks like it is. Let's probably pick it up somehow. Oh, we need to jump into lava. That's it. We're gonna survive. Come on, come on. Yes. Woo! And we got... You need at least 12 eyes to use this item. Item. Amazing. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'm gonna... Oh no, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Let us hide in here, please, third person mode. So yeah, we're gonna finish this episode here, and you know, I'm gonna explore with you, with you this nether fortress in the next episode. I need to take a little break, see what we did, and yeah, you know the drill. Stay awesome, and see you guys next time. Bye!